Hello students, today we will be learning science for grade 5, chapter 2 that is food and health. I hope you must have seen the video of chapter 1 and you must have understood the topics. Today we will be learning chapter 2 food and health. Today we will be seeing how food and health is related. As you know that food helps us to give energy and also help us to stay healthy. So to stay healthy what all things we should have? We should have a balanced diet, regular exercise, enough rest and protection from diseases. You know that a balanced diet contains right amount of all the nutrients. What is nu nutrient? Nutrient is the chemical substance that is present in the food. There are five main types of uh, main kinds of nutrients that is carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, minerals and proteins. Carbohydrates gives us energy to do work and to play. Some sources of carbohydrates are like cereal, pulses, sweet, sweet potato and sugar. Protein help us to grow. The, the food rich in proteins are milk, eggs, meat, pulses. Fats, it gives us more energy than uh, carbohydrates. Vegetable oil, butter, ghee, these are rich in fats. Okay. And vitamins, vitamins helps our, help our body to be fit and improve appetite, increase the body's ability to fight diseases and minerals help in the growth and development of the body. Uh, fresh fruits and vegetables are the good sources of vitamins and minerals. As car and carbohydrates and fats are called energy giving food because they provide quick energy to the body. Proteins are called bodybuilding food and vitamins and mineral minerals are called protective foods. Two other main uh, type of uh, food that is required by our body is water and roughage. Now next is how to keep yourself fit. To keep yourself fit you should do regular exercise because regular exercise helps to develop and tone up our muscles. Exercise also helps the nervous system by supplying more oxygen to the brain. So we must play outdoor games to keep our body fit. What is posture? Posture is the position that each body holds when we sit or stand or walk. This, this is called posture. Correct posture gives a graceful appearance to our body and it also improves the flexibility of the joints. Next is enough, enough rest. Why enough rest is important? Proper rest and regular, uh, and regular hours of sleep relax our muscles and give our body the much needed rest. Sleep also give time to the body for the growth and repair of the body cells. Now we will see the protection from diseases. Before that we will see what is a disease. A disease is an abnormal condition in which the body is not able to function properly. Okay. Diseases can happen because of many reasons. There, there can be reasons like if any part of your body does not work, so there will be a disease. Or if, if you are taking the diet and it has a lack of any nutrient, so there will be deficiency disease. So dis diseases are classified in two main kinds that is communicable diseases and non-communicable diseases. First we will be learning non-communicable diseases. Non-communicable diseases are the diseases that are not passed on from one person to an another and on the other hand communicable diseases are the diseases that can be passed on from one person to another. Okay. So communicable diseases are some of the communicable diseases are night blindness, beriberi, scurvy, rickets, anemia and these are the diseases happen when there is a lack of any nutrient in your body. Okay, if there is a lack of any vitamin or any mineral in your body, these diseases like non-communicable diseases will happen in your body. Like night blindness happens when there is deficiency of vitamin A. So green leafy vegetables, mango, papaya, tomato, butter, milk, fish and egg yolk. These are the foods that is rich in vitamin A. So if we will take these so, uh, things, 
so we, uh, night blindness will not happen to us next is beriberi it affects our nerv nervous system and this happens when there is deficiency of vitamin b1 sources like rice milk meat peas cereals and green vegetables these are the sources if we take them beriberi may not happen next is scurvy scurvy is caused when there is deficiency of vitamin c so what all things we take if we don't want scurvy so that is citrus fruits amla tomato green leafy vegetables potato sprouted grains and pulses next is rickets rickets happen when there is deficiency of vitamin d next is goiter goiter happens when there is deficiency of iodine okay so we need to take iodized iodized salt and seafood are also rich in iodine and next is anemia anemia happens when there is deficiency of iron in the body iron in the food yes food rich in iron that is dates apples bananas guavas spinach brinjal pulses jaggery meat liver these are the food that is rich in iron okay if we'll take this anemia will not happen to us next we are going to learn about communicable diseases just now we have understood that how non communicable diseases never affect other person if one person has any disease that is non communicable the other person sitting next to him or the other person in contact they will not get the disease but the other kind of disease is the communicable disease that we are going to learn now communicable diseases are the diseases that can be passed on from one person to another now we will see how these uh, diseases can be passed on it can be passed through direct contact okay or it can be passed through uh, taking infected food or water or it can be passed through the air we breathe communicable diseases are spread through some of the microbes okay or we call them germs these are like bacteria that causes diseases like plague tuberculosis typhoid pneumonia and meningitis next is protozoa in which the diseases like malaria and dysentery can happen and virus from virus common cold polio chicken pox and measles may happen next is fungi from fungi what will, what uh, diseases can happen that is ringworm athlete's foot and food poisoning now we are going to see some of the communicable diseases that happens through direct contact through infected food and water through the air we breathe and through some of the insects so through direct contact which all uh, diseases may happen like common cold chicken pox measles ringworm whooping cough and scarlet fever this uh, this happens this uh, be spread through direct contact or through clothing or other articles of the sick person next is through infected food and water diseases like typhoid cholera diarrhea polio and jaundice may spread if we take infected food or infected water okay next is through the air we breathe the germs that causes diseases like chicken pox whooping cough diphtheria influenza and scarlet fever okay this can happen when there is discharge from the nose to the mouth of a patient okay next is through insects diseases like malaria yellow fever plague dengue and kala azar may happen when these blood sucking insects like mosquitoes fleas bugs and sand flies bite us okay now now we'll be learning how to prevent these communicable diseases so prevention of communicable diseases can happen through that we have to take some measures like all the articles such as clothes linen towel comb used by a patient must be disinfected or boiled to kill the germs next the floors and the walls of the rooms must be sprayed with the disinfectant next is children suffering from any communicable diseases should stay away from school till they are fully recovered 
Now we will see some of the methods of preventing these diseases. Some of the methods like boiling. Here in the picture you can see there is what the water is boiling, the boiling water should be given to the patient, but the milk should also be boiled. This method is called pasteurization. In this what happens that we heat the milk at high temperature and then quickly cool it to kill the harmful germs. Next method of preventing disease is the vaccination, keeping the washrooms clean, sunlight and uh, taking the sunlight and fresh air, using the mosquito, mosquito nets and cleaning the house properly. Okay. Now to stop breeding the flies and mosquitoes around you, what all should, what all things you should do? Water must not be allowed to stagnate, stagnate means to collect at a place. The surface of water in tanks and ponds must be sprayed with oil, okay. Washrooms must be cleaned and disinfected and the drains around you must be covered. Now the next and the last topic is vaccination. What do you understand by vaccination? It is a way of protecting ourselves by acquiring immunity against certain diseases, okay. There are some vaccinations available for the diseases like diphtheria, cholera, typhoid, tetanus, polio, measles, mumps, meningitis and hepatitis. Okay. So, if you want to protect ourselves, we should get vaccinated to protect ourselves from these diseases. Okay. And if we will take care of our surroundings, and us we can stay healthy. So this was the end of the chapter, you must have understood the topics, the assignments related to the topics, exercises and the question answers you can find it down below in the description box. Till the time, study at home, stay safe, take care of yourself and family, thank you.